So therefore, if you understand perfectly clearly that you can't do anything to find that very, very important thing, God, enlightenment, nirvana, whatever, then what? Well, I find, you know, it's so stupid because even if I tell myself, well, there's nothing I can do about it. Why did I say that? You see, why did I say that? Why did I go out of my way to tell myself there's nothing I can do about it? Because in the back of my mind, there was a funny little feeling that if I did tell myself that, something different would happen. All right. So even that doesn't work. Nothing works. Now when absolutely nothing works, where are you? Well, here we are. I mean, you, there's this feeling of something going on. Now the world doesn't stop dead when there's nothing you can do. There's something happening. Now just there, that's what I'm talking about. There's the happening. When you are not doing anything about it, you're not not doing anything about it, you just can't help it. It goes on despite anything you think or worry about or whatever. Now, there is the point, right there. And remember, although you will think at first that this is a kind of determinism, there are two reasons why it isn't. One, there is nobody being determined. Now, other people think of determinism as the direction of what happens by the past, the causation of what happens by the past. Now, if you will use your senses, you will see that that is a hallucination. The present does not come from the past. If you listen, and only listen, close your eyes. Where do the sounds come from, according to your ears? You hear them coming out of silence. The sounds come and then they fade off. They go like echoes, or echoes in the labyrinths of your brain, which we call memories. The sounds don't come from the past. They come out of now and trail off. You can do that with your eyes. You can see there's a vibration coming out from the screen to your eyes. And it starts from there. We don't see that our memory is an echo of their always being now. They never were, they never will be. They're always now. And that that is recollected is the trailing off echo like the wake of a ship. And so just as the wake doesn't move the ship, the past does not move the present, unless you insist that it does.